Hey guys, I am Jessica. I am the owner and operator of Roundtown Candle Co. I am a small um, business hand pouring soy wax candles. And um, I've started this channel just to sort of talk about candles and business in general and life and things like that. So just sort of whatever comes up on my mind, um, but I just feel like maybe it would be uh, something good to discuss maybe help somebody out or just thought provoking. So today's video, um, I wanna talk about competition in business. Um, so just a little backstory. I have my bachelor's degree in business with a concentration of accounting. And my husband and I, my husband Chris, um, we've been together for over 10 years and he has had an auto repair shop that he has owned and operated. Uh, it'll be 30 years this coming March. So for probably six and a half or seven of the 10 years we've been together, I've worked directly with him um, in his shop. I run the office. And um, for the few years that I was not working directly with him, um, I still was working behind the scenes and um, you know, doing payroll and accounting things and all that. So I've been in it um, for the, our entire relationship. So um, I have really learned a lot uh, from his business and seeing how things operate, kind of what he's gone through. And um, obviously our businesses now are way different because his is a service-based, mine's a retail-based. Um, but there's a lot of common denominators really when it comes to any business. And things that I've seen and heard um, over the years working with Chris on uh, his business have really just kind of blown me away um, and not always in a good way. So he is extremely intelligent um, and he's super humble but I've watched him over these last 10 years um, to see how he just works and invests and constantly, you know, making sure he's got the right tools and equipment and the, the latest and greatest uh, to be able to do the best job that he can. And he really does. Um, he's, he's an amazing mechanic and a incredible uh, just at, at operating a business. He was like, so young when he started it. It's it's crazy to see how far things, you know, um, have gone for him uh, as far as just growth and, and all that, and even in the last 10 years since I've known him. Um, but it's really crazy because there are, you know, there are auto repair shops all over the place. I mean, it's not like, you know, there's just only gonna be one in our town or around. Um, but what's crazy is over the last 10 years, I have heard, you know, there's been, um, you know, shops open, shops close. Uh, some have moved, some have gone out of business. Unfortunately, uh, some have closed due to death, uh, things like that. Um, but, you know, I've watched um, Chris go through all the ups and downs, economic changes, and just all kinds of stuff. Um, but, there was um, someone who opened up a shop um, or was going to open up a shop in Circleville. And so this guy comes in and, you know, he's really focused and he's just got this great business plan, which is awesome. Um, but we had heard through the grapevine um, that he was saying that, you know, he was going to come in and he was going to shut Chris down. And I was just like, what? I mean, what? I don't even understand this. First of all, why? Why would that be your purpose for coming in and opening a business that you look around to see your competition and then you see this guy who's been here a long time, he's independent, you know, and all this stuff. And your goal that you actually will speak out of your mouth is to come in and shut him down. And that just absolutely was like, I just, what do you say to that? Because um, that's ridiculous. For one thing, the shop is our way of life. I mean, it's the roof over our head. It's the food for our family. 
you know, why would you, why would your goal be to come in and just strip everything that he has worked all these years for and, and just say, my goal is to ruin, ruin everything for him. And, you know, when I just got to thinking like, why, um, would someone's mindset be, why would you be in that place? Um, if your purpose of being in business is to put somebody else out of business, then you're in it for the wrong reason. Um, and, and you know, side note, that guy didn't make it. He did start a shop um, and he's not here anymore. So, you know, his attitude, his mindset, his focus and goals obviously was not in the right place at all. Um, and Chris wasn't really moved by that too much. I mean, I don't know if he could really say that it didn't bother him at all. Because, I mean, yeah, when, when you're putting everything you have into creating something and somebody comes in and says that they're just going to shut you down, I mean, it's got to be a little unsettling in the sense of, you know, why? Why are you going to do this? And to what lengths will you go to to try to get your goal? Um, he didn't really seem very moved by it, but it bothered me, you know, and I'm just thinking, um, business competition is a really good thing. Okay. Because when you have competition, when you have, you know, these competitors, you have to look at them and say, okay, well, you know, they're doing this. Maybe I should do this to set myself apart. Um, or, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do things a little different from how this person's doing it. And like, that's good because it forces you to find ways to better your service or better your product or, um, you know, reach a different group of people or whatever kind of business you're in. Um, and so it's healthy and it's good. It motivates us. Um, it keeps us constantly on our toes to think about what can we do different how can we better ourselves? So that's the thing. You should be working to better yourself and not to make somebody else worse off. Um, you know, it, it just blows my mind. There are enough, using Chris's business as an example, there are enough people in cars in Circleville and Pickway County. We can't have them all. We can't work on every single car and we know that. We don't want to. I mean, it we would work 24 seven and you, you still wouldn't be able to. Um, there is enough, there are enough customers for all of the shops around to be successful. And that's great. Um, we've had people, we had a customer come in one time who had been to another shop. They had done something way wrong, way wrong. We found it, we fixed it, and you know, we didn't bash that shop. We didn't say, well, you know, they did this, and oh my gosh, I can't believe they did this to you. And you know, we just said, well, here was the problem that we found, and we've got things all fixed up, and you're good to go. And, and you know, we sent this lady on her way. Someone else probably could have said, you know, just bashed the shop up and down, maybe gone to social media or done whatever, but. We're looking at it and at the end of the day, we don't know the circumstances. It could have been an honest to goodness mistake. Um, it could have just been a bad day. It could have been an oversight or whatever. Somebody made a mistake. Um, we were fortunate that we were able to find it and fix it and, and that was it. So, you know, it's like, there just doesn't need to be this desire to just destroy other people. Um, there's enough business. There are enough customers that everyone can be successful and, and everyone can, you know, thrive. And maybe someone has their own little specialty or their own thing that they're known for. And that's awesome. Thrive in that. I love that. You know, um, we don't try to tear people down ever. And the same thing with my candle business, starting this out, there are other small candle businesses, even locally, you know, um, within surrounding counties online. I mean, they're not hard to find. And, you know, some people price their candles higher than mine and some people price their candles lower than mine. Uh, some people offer 
you know, different styles of product and, and things like that. Um, and it's all okay because if mine isn't what you want, um, then that's all right because someone else is going to have what you want. I'm not trying to shut anybody down or badmouth anybody. Um, and no matter whether it's a service-based business, a retail-based business, um, or just life in general, like we really don't need to do that. People can be successful. Uh, people can be happy in their own way. And we don't need to try to tear down uh, or take away from people, from their hard work or their dreams um, or their hobbies or the roof over their head. Um, so I think the thing about it is, is you just have to look at, like you have to focus on what is your mission? What is your goal? What makes you happy, you know? And then you have to look around what other people have those same goals and, the, and are doing the same things. And you know, it's okay we can coexist, you know, um, but maybe why, what makes me different? What makes me different from Candlemaker A or Candlemaker B or, you know, what makes Chris different from, from the dealership or a different independent auto shop? Um, you know, you just have to find your, your own way and, um, you know, focus on your goals, but, don't feel like you have to destroy other people to get where you want to be. You don't have to kick somebody off the side of the mountain, uh, a step over top of their head to get to the top. You can all go together and it's totally fine. Like, why are we so threatened by other people's success? We shouldn't be. So I don't know. I read somewhere one time and I don't know, it might be like, I might say it wrong. I don't know. But the gist of it is, um, you know, the sky would be awfully dark if there was only one star shining. And it's so true. Like, you don't, we don't want just one success story. We want millions of success stories. Um, so, you know, I guess that's just what I, what I had on my heart today. Um, I just, it's hard, it's discouraging when you see somebody who's worked really hard for something and you know, you get people who just want to discredit them or destroy them or whatever. Um, so, whether it's our personal lives, whether it's our business, whatever it is, just remember you guys that we want millions of stars, millions of shining stars in the sky. We just don't want to see one. So rather than stepping over top of each other to try to get to the top, let's go together. Like, let's just all be the best that we can be um, and, and really just succeed together and not feel threatened by one another and not have the goal of destroying a person to get where we are. Because, okay, you do that, then you get to the top and you're sitting on your throne. How are you going to feel about yourself? when you look down and see the people that you knocked off to get there. I mean, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be able to lay my head down at night and have a peaceful night's sleep knowing that I had done those things. So let's just love each other and support each other and not feel threatened by one another and, and not be so competitive in the bad sense. Let's just have, you know, the friendly competition of okay, how can I separate myself from this person? Or what can I do to, to maybe get myself a little bit more known out there? But do it in a positive way, not in a way that's going to, um, to hurt the other person. So anyways, that's what I have on my mind today. That's what I'm sharing with you guys. Um, you know, I love you. I'm grateful for you. Um, I'm rooting for every single one of you. Um, so anyways, that's it. Love you guys. Have a good one. We'll see ya.